Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about using acetals as protecting groups. So what happens if you wanted to do this reaction? We have lithium aluminum hydride. And um, actually, I want this bin out of hide, but just bear with me. And you want to reduce the nitrile to an amine. Uh, and, this, and this is a reaction I'm going to talk about in another video. Uh, that lithium aluminum hydride reduces nitriles to amines. But lithium aluminum hydride also reduces alcohols, and so we're going to have a problem. Uh, and generally, most things that reduce nitriles to amine are also going to reduce aldehydes. So we've, we've got a problem here. The aldehyde is going to react also. So we need something that will protect that aldehyde from reacting with lithium aluminum hydride. And then it turns out, uh, as you might have guessed from the title of my video, that an acetal is going to be just the thing we want to use. Uh, it also tur it turns out uh, that aldehydes are not reactive with strong nucleophiles, reducing agents, some oxidizing agents. And so they make good uh, protecting groups. Uh, a common acid that's used to install out, uh, to act to install uh, acetals in the lab is toluene sulfonic acid. So I'm going to use that here. Again, we want to remove water by some kind of distillation method. And frequently, chemists who use acetals as protecting groups use the cyclic acetals. Uh, because they are a little bit easier to put on, and they because they're easy to put on, they're also a little bit harder to remove. Uh, given that you know, dilute, given that aqueous acid removes them, uh, you would actually like some acetal to be a little bit sturdy and, and able to survive other things. Okay. So now, uh, acetal does not react. Again, acetals resist strong bases, uh, strong nucleophiles, Grignard reagents, reducing agents, some oxidizing agents. Like this, this, uh, this acetal with its hydrogen. This hydrogen is 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 uh, can be re really pretty easily removed by by radical species, so it's not going to survive a radical reaction. But there are some, uh, but it might prevent like this aldehyde from being oxidized using PCC or, or, or using uh, an oxidizing agent. So first we protect the aldehyde and then we do reduce the, the uh, whoa, put this up. then we reduce the nitrile to the amine. And, and don't worry if you're not familiar with that particular reaction, that's okay. Uh, I'm going to cover it in a later video, but just, just you know, so you know, nitriles can be re reduced to amines. That's a pretty cool uh, way to synthesize an amine. Now I want to show hydrogens, not the carbon. I like to show my uh, nitrile carbon, but because I have to feel like sometimes you lose it there in the in the linear arrangement. And then, as in most protecting group strategies. You hydrolyze the acetal, you remove it. Uh, and acetals hydrolyze in aqueous acid. Uh, again, shift, you want to shift the equilibrium away from the, the acetal back to the aldehyde or ketone. And the aldehyde or ketone, it, you know, and adding excess water in the presence of acid will do that. So here is an example of how you can use acetals as a protecting group. Generally, you can, uh, you know, they're pretty versatile. They're they're not without limitations, but they're pretty versatile. Thank you for watching.